Hey creative friends, I'm Robin Randolph and I want to welcome you to Art for Healing and Joy. I want to share with you some of the things that I have just recently purchased to help me get started. And you know, if you're new to this, I just want to say just use what you have. Don't feel like you have to spend tons of money or you have to have all of these things to get started. That's not the case. But I'm just gonna share with you because a lot of people ask me what, what paints do I like, what am I using? So I'm just gonna share some of my basic things that I love so far and I am a newbie, okay? I'm new at this and I'm learning. We can learn together. All right, so without further ado, let's look at some of these supplies. So one of my favorite uh, boxes of paint right here is Artistro's uh, watercolor paint set, 48 colors. And what I love about it is that this whole section right here, they're all metallics. I love metallics. If you've seen any of my art, you know that I'm always using metallics. I'm obsessed with them and I'm also obsessed with gold right here. And I got this on Etsy. I will link everything below for you. Um, so if you wanna uh, go into further detail or go find these things, it's down below for you. Etsy. These are all Daniel Smith paints. I also have Daniel Smith over here um, in some, I got some tubes of Daniel Smith and I'm just learning to play between using them in tubes or in the actual um, pans. Now, another thing I found to be super duper helpful is this particular way of getting to see and track your paints. So I like this uh, littler size version of the painter's color diary. Now you can get it bigger, but I like this. It, I, I don't see the need to spend more money and have it be bigger and bulkier. This just is really great. And I love that I can, you know, put out the colors and put them in, like if I'm working out what color I want to do, um, what palette I want to use for a piece, I can work it out on here. I can also record all the different colors and um, put the names of them and also uh, separate out which company is making which colors. So anyway, I highly, highly recommend this. This has been a great tool. Again, everything will be linked for you below. Something else I wanna show you is my art cart, which I, it, I keep it right next to me. Now, my little art studio that I'm just putting together is also my sewing room. It's also our family's rec room. And so we have this great big ping pong table that sits here empty a lot of the time. So it's super fun to work on a ping pong table. Let me tell you, there is so much room here. And I, I also like to use... Okay, so here I am on my ping pong table. And I love to use these mats that I have for sewing. And I've come over here at, at what my little art station. I, I've turned this mat upside down. And um, let me show you, like on the other side right here is my sewing mat. But I like to use it this way so I can keep it intact for sewing on the other side. But it's nice and clean. It's a great surface. I can wipe, wipe it up really easily. So I highly recommend that. Also, and again, I'll have this for you. I love these art boards where I, you can tape your painting right down onto the board. The good thing about taping your painting onto a board is you can turn it and rotate it so you can work on all sides of your, your artwork. So I highly recommend that. The other paint set that I adore is this one that is Metallic Watercolors by Da Vici. And, um, oh, I love that. It's just super, super good. I also want to say that I love these metallics from Vine Tech. Um, I use them a lot as well. And I want to encourage you to look around your house and use things that you already have. Like you might have seen videos where, where artists use like old credit cards 
I like to use these, which are um, something that come out of my sewing world. They're um, like, you put them down and you, you can trace perfect circles with them and they come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes. And I just use the edges of them sometimes with um, wet paint and it makes a nice effect or I can roll like this and it'll make some nice lines. So just look around and use things, get creative with things that you already have in your house. Um, like if you sew, you might have all kinds of templates and things like this. Um, so yeah, get creative. You can even use, you know, an old hair clip for, for, uh, making patterns or designs and things. So, um, you'd be surprised what you can already upcycle in your house. Using art sponges are essential if you're going to be doing stenciling. And I've found so far that the best thing to use when doing stencils is acrylics. So if you have acrylics, use those. And you can get acrylics really inexpensively at the dollar store. And you can buy a lot of great things at the dollar stores. I really love using these enamel palettes right here. Unfortunately, I dropped mine the minute I got it out of the bag when I got home. And so my husband was so kind to glue it back together. So mine's cracked, but it just feels so much better to use that as opposed to, you know, like these plastic kind. It just, I love it. So consider that. I got this one at Hobby Lobby. Um, they're around though, and you can get them online. If you're brand new, like I was just a couple weeks ago, just certain things that are so obvious to people who, who paint regularly, I didn't even know, you know, like to get, have two uh, containers of water, one that is your cleaner water, your fresh water, and then one for cleaning off your brushes so that's gonna get dirty faster. So always have those around and, you know, I just used, what I had. And what's nice is it's easy to, you know, carry this over to the sink or use an old mug. It's nice to carry that over to the sink real easily with the handles. So just pretty basic, but just the things like having a, a good little hack of hand, having handles. Another basic thing is I always like to have a little bit of a damp cloth right here and paper towel. I might have uh, some sponges around. So in between, like if I'm dipping in here and it's a little too wet, I can wipe off the side of the brush so that it doesn't drip onto the paper. Pretty obvious, pretty basic stuff. But again, if I had known just these simple things when I was starting out, it would have been great. Hey, Artville friends, I'm going to give you a few quick hacks as I'm in my seventh week of doing art and I'm a definitely a newbie, a beginner, but I was thinking it would be really fun for me to chronicle my journey as I'm learning things along the way, things that I think would have been helpful had I known, some of the things maybe I bought that I didn't need and some that are really super helpful. Like this art cart that I really love that I've already mentioned earlier because it helps to keep everything super organized if you have a, a small space you're working in you know you could wheel this into a closet if you don't want to have it all the time out um, but it's so so handy when I'm working I can just wheel it in closer grab my tools um, I just cannot recommend this more highly and I will have this linked for you below so I'm going to give you a few quick hacks this is some these are some things I got at the Dollar Tree and makes it so easy and convenient. So if you do not have an official art studio or art space, and maybe you're working on your dining room table or even an outdoor table or picnic table even, um, or your desk, what you can do is, I got these plastic tablecloths. You can even set up a little card table. Um, so I like to put these plastic, plastic tablecloths down. Now in my case right here, I'm using a ping pong table, which is phenomenally great. 
because it gives me so much space. And you can see I've got my plastic tablecloths down because when I'm working really quick making collage papers, I need somewhere quickly where I can put those wet papers down. So it's nice to already have the surface covered with the plastic tablecloth. All right, so what I did is I went to the Dollar Tree and I got this foam core board right here. And they also sell these wallpaper pieces that are peel and stick and it makes for a great wipeable surface it also makes it easy to carry this uh, with you you could take it to the park or um, you can easily store this so it, this is a great gives you a great working space it also is another layer of protection over whatever your table is if you don't have something as large as I have, you can even set up a card table by your desk or by your, by your dining room table if you want to have a place to put papers. And even if you don't have that, you could just put a plastic tablecloth down on the ground and put your, your wet papers down there. So just whatever works in your space. When I started my art journey, I began with watercolors, but recently I've gotten really into doing collages and making my own collage paper. And this is a piece of art I just completed today using my new gel pad, which I just got a couple days ago. In my next video, I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step step how I use my gel pad to create this collage painting. I've found that the gel pad has just taken me to the next level with creating beautiful and unique collage papers. All right, I want to show you my new gel press. And it, it comes with some plastic on either side of it. And then I wanted to show you that when you go to store it, what you want to do is use just a piece of paper on either side. So I'm just using copy paper. Um, that keeps it from having um, bumps and, and lumps and, and little air bubbles. Um, the other thing about this that I'm finding, I've only used it once, so it's brand new for me. I got it just like two days ago. But what I think is a smart thing to do is to wash it off immediately when you're done using it so it doesn't build up. I've seen other people's pads and they, they seem to build up crusty old paint on there. And I found it super easy to just go to the sink and, and with a little bit of soapy water, wash it right up and keep it nice and neat and clean. So I want to invite you to go to my website, robinrandolph.com. And if you scroll down just a little bit at the top there, you'll see a place where you can subscribe and receive my free instant download for my favorite art supplies go-to list. I hope this has been helpful and your comments really encourage me. Love to hear any thoughts you have. And also, it really helps if you want to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, or share. Um, that way, it lets me know if you want more videos. All right, thanks so much for watching.